I'll go ahead. Uh, uh, this uh, archive, Chicago Italian Archives website, uh, is the uh, uh, is a, a, a very enriched uh, center for a, a lot of the stuff. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, there's a, an awful lot on this uh, page. And uh, it uh, is a result of uh, a lot of work by a lot of people originally. Uh, Tony, Tony Morrow, Morrow. The, the oral history section of it. And then in the recent years, Jason has been loading the thing up with a lot of great sources uh, for the study of Italians uh, in Chicago and even the even, 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 even. Okay. Uh, and uh, the first thing uh, that you need to know is, well, what is the, uh, how do you get there? Here's the shortcut. It's just tinyurl.com slash Casa Library, and that'll get you there every time. Um, and there are some other ways to do it too. Uh, uh, it, we also have the printable library brochure, which talks about the, the library in general. It was done a few years ago. and. If you want to know if we've got a book in the library, you just click on library thing and library thing comes up with uh, 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 Jeanette has been uh, inputting uh, information into uh, the uh, this uh, program uh, for years and we've got about 9,000 over here um, and search this library. You put the name, well, we'll put uh, Candeloro in and see what comes up. And search. And this is all the books and, and uh, other presentations that I've done. And uh, it's all too small, but uh, you can make it big on your own computer. And uh, uh, you can find them and you go over to um, the far right. Can you see that? But there's a, uh, a series of uh, uh, symbols there. You click on uh, the, I th think the open book symbol and it'll tell you what number it is. Uh, and that's, uh, that's the Dewey Decimal uh, uh, number and it's on the shelf in that order. So you can, uh, from home, find out all of the, the books that we have uh, on file. And uh, uh, coming back to the, and there are some notations. We, uh, four or five of the books were a gift of uh, Barbara Stazel. Sometimes we have uh, longer uh, uh, explanations of what's in the book. Sometimes there's a picture of the cover. So that uh, clicking on library thing gives you access to our whole catalog. We've also got a bunch of books that were uh, maybe 500 of them that were uh, given to us uh, by, the, uh, by the region of Trento and they're here and they're listed and uh, 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 Lucio is the one who put them together. So, uh, and then here we have the, the ticket. Uh, this is a, a promotional piece that we do put together uh, with uh, nice pictures, color pictures of uh, what's at the Casa Italia and a, a ticket uh, that, uh, uh, well, a supposed ticket that gets you to visit Italy, but through the Casa Italia uh, library. So a little bit of uh, self-promotion there. And uh, uh, we're back uh, here. Okay. And uh, here is an appeal to share the uh, uh, share materials with us with my email address. And then here's uh, information about the book that we put together, Italian Women in Chicago. Uh, and you click on that and you, I think it takes you to the Amazon site. Uh, oh no, this is uh, more inf information about it. Uh, with uh, 
uh, Gloria Nardini talking about Italian women on WGN and uh, 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 Rosemary Andolino professor, uh, uh, presentation to the City Club of Chicago, uh, Domenica uh, Trevor's uh, presentation. So we've got a lot of the contents of the book and people who did things on the book uh, to, uh, uh, to uh, put the book together. Italian women in Chicago, get rid of this, this, and we're uh, not go, okay, we can click on this and get back to the, okay, so we're back at the site. I don't know how, if it's the right size for you, I'm, I have a real trouble with it, but uh, to buy the Italian version, uh, get in touch with me, books available. Uh, and uh, the detailed flyer. This is a detailed flyer we put together on uh, a, a whole bunch of books that uh, a lot of them that we published on Amazon, these up here. And then uh, below here are other books that we uh, recommend. Some of them we published. Uh, some of them are my books and, and friends of the, uh, of the Casa Italia library. So uh, we've got uh, uh, links to those things too. So uh, now we're, we're back and um, here on the right side, can you see this? Is it in the middle of the screen? And uh, here is out of the past photos, documents, memorabilia, primary sources. And that brings us to the 1933 telephone book, which we uh, published as a book on Amazon. Uh, an audio file of Egidio Clementi. I think this is a dead link, unfortunately. And then uh, celebrating 60 years of public service. That's uh, Tony Fornelli um, uh, talking about uh, the uh, Festa Italiana in the 1970s and the 1920s. And some other Casa Italia events, uh, uh, still pictures of them. Uh, so uh, there we go with that. And uh, now we're back here. And maybe the heart of what we have is the oral history interviews. And from this page, you can uh, select oral history interviews to read and to listen to. Uh, 80 of them are available uh, <coughs> in both those forms. I think 100 are available in uh, as uh, uh, transcripts. And so you can go. You can go by neighborhood uh, uh, or you can do it by name, alphabetical order. And uh, let's go to uh, Eddie Baldacci, uh, born in 1925. Um, Mangianone is the one who interviewed him, I guess. Uh, oh no, that's uh, where he's from in, in Italy. And then 24th and Oakley is his neighborhood. You click on the transcript and the transcript will come up immediately uh, as a PDF. And you, this is the preliminary material uh, that uh, uh, tells you the basics of who the person is and what the circumstances of the interview are and what the topics uh, were, were uh, uh, covered. And then you could, uh, it begins, you could read the whole thing starting soon. Uh, a lot of uh, legal stuff. And then here is the interview. That's that part. Uh, let's uh, go to uh, uh, the, the, let's see if we could hear Eddie Baldacci. It, it takes a while to download the audio. So uh, I'm going to do that, but I, we can talk about something else. Are there any questions up till now? Has anybody uh, um, worked on uh, uh, this, used this page for any research that they've done? Not yet. Not yet. Well, I, I think it, it's a, it's a mother load of material. Uh, we have, uh, because I'm, I'm so scatterbrained, uh, 
Here's the oral, oral history. With Eddie Baldacci. The interview is taking place in the Chicago Heights home on the 29th of May, 1980. I'm Tony Mansueto with the Italians in Chicago Oral History Project. So, okay, could you begin by talking a little bit about where you were born and when? Okay, I was born on June 29, 1925. So, we were born in the old so you, you can West hear that? Everyone can hear that? Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay, okay. So, uh, so there we go. Um, we, uh, we have all anywhere in the world you can uh, hear Eddie Baldacci talking uh, about his uh, experiences. Okay, that's... Okay, that's a, a, a okay. So now we go down to uh, the artists, and uh, for uh, each of the uh, these people, I suppose we could create a lot more files, but these are just uh, simple uh, bio, bios of uh, uh, Latirio Calapai and, and that were done a while back. Uh, then uh, uh, the one that we have, uh, Luigi Zampieri, we have a, a uh, oh, uh, a, uh, uh, a clipping uh, with him that you, where you can see him and some of his artwork. So we, uh, uh, there's a little bit of detail on the art at Casa Italia. It could be developed a lot more. Um, uh, Oh, there is uh, the art treasures of Casa Italia. If you've received an email of, uh, from me lately, uh, the, you, at the bottom of it is this uh, YouTube dimension. Okay, well, that's enough of that, but uh, you get the idea. And then uh, I don't know if you remember when. Uh, uh, Fra Noi published a, a paper, it's sort of an ad book of uh, uh, veterans. So there are two or 300 veterans who are honored in this uh, by their families. And we have a PDF of that uh, and uh, with all of these, uh, this information about a hundred Italians, there are the bios of the uh, uh, Medal of Honor winners up here, and uh, then uh, individual ones, tributes from family members, uh, uh, and uh, uh, these are boys who served mostly in World War II, but possibly in, in other uh, conflicts. There it goes again. Okay, so uh, that's uh, that page. Then there's something that is little known, uh, not little known, but in uh, what was it, 1970, 1976, uh, this was published by La Parola del Popolo. It's about a 500 page anthology of different articles about uh, Italian Americans. And on the cover are AP Giannini, Arturo Toscanini, Mother Cabrini, Philip Mazze, and uh, Enrico Fermi. Uh, the uh, uh, this part gives you a 439 page PDF that was scanned, uh, but the scanning was done a long time ago and it wasn't uh, uh, really professional. Uh, and then uh, going down here, we have 1950 businesses. There, there was a brochure put out about uh, business leaders and I don't know if it's, these are small, they came up a lot bigger uh, before, but these are individual pages of that brochure and they highlight business people in the 1950s. So uh, if uh, you're interested in somebody who was a business person in the 1950s, that's the place to go. Uh, and uh, the, the, this is the full, um, a text of the my book Italians in Chicago 1945-2005. Don't tell nobody, they might not buy it, but that's the full text. 
Italians in Chicago. This is the, the first book I did on Italians in Chicago. And this is the photos from that. I won't click on it. But um, I got a few uh, um, copies of La Tribuna del... Uh, La Tribuna. La Tribuna Transatlantica. Okay, now. Okay, and here are the, the pages. They, they came in nine pages and they're all in Italian. Uh, we just have a sampling of these. I think there are, more, I have more somewhere in my computers than the four or five that we have here. But if you want to uh, kind of, uh, let's see, uh, get it a little bit bigger. Uh, uh, this is what the newspaper looked like that circulated weekly in Chicago in the Italian community. And uh, uh, this is from 1913 in March, uh, March 22nd. It came out on Saturdays. Uh, and there are a lot of interesting uh, advertisements and uh, profiles of people, some pictures but it's all in Italian. This is just for you, Lucio. And uh, so uh, there, if you want to, that's uh, something that is uh, uh, significant. Uh, let's go on and, and here are the three or four different uh, issues of it from different time periods. So they're a sampling of it but uh, we should build that up with the more of them that we have. And here we're back to the main page. And the same thing is true here of L'Italia. This is a newspaper that came out in the 1880s. And some of my favorites uh, here are this one. It's, this is a list from the, um, post office of who had letters waiting for them at the post office. Mm -hmm. So uh, if, um, if you were an immigrant and maybe were working on the railroad, if, if you, uh, 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 I left word with the post office that you were uh, put you on the list, they would uh, add your name to the list when things came in. And the newspaper went out to get that list uh, uh, and publish it. There were other things they published, uh, transfers of land, weddings, and all that other stuff. Uh, so uh, then uh, uh, some of you know about Eugene Miller and Jana Panofsky. Uh, they wrote this massive 294-page uh, uh, thing called Struggling in Chicago, Italian-American Labor Movement about Italian radicals in the uh, teens, 20s, and 30s. And uh, this is a PowerPoint that I put together about Italians in business. And this is uh, about Egidio Clemente and his uh, work in the OSS. And uh, it's, it's got a, a lot of information about his personal experience. Uh, I profiled him in uh, one of my uh, books uh, on Italians in Chicago, and we tell the same story. Uh, there was a, an interesting uh, thing that he did uh, was to have uh, ba bags of uh, mail uh, dropped onto uh, trains when they were bombed and in Germany. And the, uh, the mail was addressed to people uh, from a bank, and the uh, uh, the usage at that time was for uh, the authorities to make the mail go through no matter what, and the message inside was an anti-Hitler message, something that Hitler had died or Hitler had uh, committed suicide or something like that uh, to uh, weaken the, uh, uh, the opposition. They also sent uh, uh, pornographic uh, postcards uh, that were circulated among the German troops uh, or dropped on the German troops uh, to show them what uh, the Americans were, uh, I mean, what the German 
hierarchy was doing. There, these are some pictures of of Clementes. Clementes is an interesting story, uh, but we don't hear much about him because he was so uh, from the left. And uh, uh, but uh, uh, he's worth uh, talking about. Then. Uh, uh, we have uh, caption photos on the other end of the Joint Civic Committee uh, of Italian Americans as a photo essay. I don't know where this came from exactly, but a lot of it uh, was published in uh, probably was a booklet. And uh, these are about the founding of Villa Scalabrini. Here's celebration at the Columbus statue, uh, Columbus Day Parade. and. Uh, uh, some a uh, lot of other things, uh, and Rocco de Stefano, Marco de Stefano, uh, and uh, uh, the parade uh, stuff. So uh, this is the uh, main line uh, uh, middle class leadership of the uh, Italian Americans uh, portrayed in pictures and uh, uh, captions. Uh, Okay, something kind of interesting if you want to uh, go far back, this is an alpha list that Giovanni Schiavo created of the Italians uh, who were in Chicago in 1860. And I don't know if he got these from the uh, list of the uh, census list or what, but uh, it's, uh, if you're an old time, see a lot of them were uh, confectioners or, uh, uh, had saloons or whatever they were uh, the earliest ones were oriented toward business and uh, tombola rules union siciliano it's just a, a kind of definition of it uh, uh, material from the catholic uh, immigrant conference of 2013 at loyola and then uh, uh, this is publicity about the Italian Cultural Center chorus uh, that was in the Economist newspaper. And here's the picture with the, uh, with the uh, identifications of uh, the Italian Cultural Center singers and dancers. And that's from about uh, more than 50 years ago. Uh, uh, as Peter Augustino was a, a professor uh, of uh, religion, religious history, uh, who did work on uh, uh, religion in Chicago, especially connected with, the, with fascism. And uh, he's in one of the, uh, in the uh, reconstructing book. Obits of, of descendants of Riccigliano. If, if you remember, Riccigliano was probably the uh, uh, town uh, from which the oldest and most immigrants came and they uh, 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 they gathered on the south, near south side. And uh, here is a, a list of them that was created. Uh, My mother was from Richigan. Oh, okay. Well, uh, these are uh, a lot of obituaries, uh, death notices for individuals, Pacelli, Siracco, uh, Altieri, De Leonardis, Saratella, uh, De Leonardis, Saratella. Pacelli was my grandfather's brother who bore the name of his father, Pacelli, who was the nobility from Liciano. My grandfather got his name Mitria from the second wife. Okay, well, uh, you could uh, 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 jump into this uh, and obviously you can click on each one of these and make them bigger so you can read them. So uh, we have uh, uh, a lot of Riccilianese source material here that uh, can be used. And uh, uh, Anna Carlo Blasi uh, the, uh, is a, uh, uh, was a politically active uh, 
midwife uh, who I'd like to know a, hell, a lot more about. Rocco Christo, Cristofano uh, was uh, the father of, uh, 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 what's your name, Pilot, Roxanne Pilot. And uh, she wrote a, an obit in his, uh, in his honor. Uh, and other obituaries, uh, these aren't complete but uh, they're uh, of uh, uh, interesting people. Then we've got some videos uh, that have been done. Uh, 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 Pat Arbor, uh, who was in the news a year ago. This is a, a, a movie that was made when he was honored at uh, Gravino, uh, Gravina. Uh, and Tony Ardizzoni, There's this is a, an audio interview. Um, my paper on uh, Luigi Bosco, uh, Charles Bernardini, who was an alderman at one time and uh, is still around. He tells his life story uh, for uh, us. Some more stuff on uh, Anna Carlo Blasi. And then um, I did a women's, Italian women's PowerPoint, uh, somewhat based on the book. And uh, it's uh, it's there for looking at. There's Mother Cabrini. Uh, here's uh, works of Mother Cabrini and uh, women working on the, in the fields, uh, uh, marriages blessed by uh, uh, Il Duce for in return for giving up their gold rings. Uh, so uh, a lot of stuff that, that has been published elsewhere. Uh, in the book on women uh, is there. Um, there's uh, a, uh, a, a chapter that I wrote uh, in one of my books uh, on Italians in politics in Chicago. And uh, here uh, is Peter Morrow's, uh, Mara's interview. Uh, is uh, uh, Peter here? Peter's not here anymore. Well. Uh, Peter Perro uh, collected this interview, and uh, uh, this Umberto La Morticella is, is a, an article that I wrote many years ago, maybe it was the first one that I did, uh, something on Lucy Palermo, and here's a transcript of an interview with uh, Father Pedini, uh, the important leader of uh, uh, Villa Scalabrini, etc. Then we have some things on uh, Florence Scala, video clips, audio clips, uh, and uh, newspaper uh, obituaries. Um, then the, this is another Tunzi family, family immigration history that was done by Peter Perro as well. And I have an interview here with uh, Mario Turano, the founder of the Turano Baking Company, the father of uh, Ron Turano. And uh, and so it goes, uh, some stuff about the Maria. Uh, is, here's a link to uh, the 159 pages by Z. Pret of his reminiscence of Chicago, uh, his Chicago parish uh, in the 1890s and early 1900s. Uh, we have pictures of authentic costumes. Uh, we have uh, uh, Two folders with, uh, uh, what, what is, I don't know what this is. The, the, this, these are uh, many of the pictures that are uh, in, uh, uh, in the books and in the exhibits uh, without much explanation. And, uh, uh, but uh, they do preserve uh, the look of Italians in Chicago. And they are uh, open to anyone, and you can stay at home, etc. Now, what is the uh, authentic costumes? Well, the Joint Civic Committee women put together authentic costumes. We have pictures of all of them. Uh, this is a, a link to the Loyola Conference. Uh, with videos on YouTube. And uh, here's the, uh, 
a new holy angel brief description let's see what it looks like uh, okay well this describes the holy guardian angel parish and uh, uh, this is uh, probably 1920s with a little history etc so uh, I let, let me see if there is anything more that we need to be talking about. There's a lot of Chicago Heights history uh, links to articles that I've written and, and other people, uh, interviews, uh, audio files. Um, uh, there, there's this important article that uh, was in the uh, uh, Chicago, let's see if we can get a, is this too big? Why isn't it? Yeah, the Robert Cross article is, uh, uh, that link is uh, not uh, currently working. Okay, but it was like a 10 page uh, a Sunday supplement uh, on uh, Italians in Chicago in 1977. So it gives you a, a great picture of that. And then uh, these are some of my articles. I, I'm sorry that uh, I, I hope this isn't too self-promoting, but I can, I, I see where it is. And then if you want to read uh, Rudolf Vicoli. Rudy Vicoli. Uh, yeah. You are there, Peter. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, Rudy's there. Oh, he's the grandfather of Italian study. Well, were you around when I made reference to you uh, contributing to oral history interviews? Sir? Yeah, about Peter Mara, and I interviewed uh, I interviewed Clement, Egidio Clemente, the communist. Okay, and then uh, here is Italians in Chicago studying Americanization, a Scavo book. It is basic, written in the mid nineteen twenties, very positive. This picture was in the in cover, and. Uh, it uh, it's also digitized at uh, healthytrust.org, uh, and then we've got uh, Lombardo's. Let's see if we get this smaller. Uh, some information about uh, uh, the Cabrini uh, neighborhood, um, uh, the Saint Philip Benici neighborhood, etc. Uh, we have that. That's probably that's from the uh, 2013 uh, conference. Uh, so then uh, Vince Lacoste show does a, has a, a, sh a show uh, on uh, TV, Comcast TV uh, in the suburbs, and he does a lot of his interviews are with Italians. Uh, this website uh, is uh, kind of interesting. And everyone, you know, all know Frankie D. D. Piero. Uh, he's been doing podcasts, and this is a link uh, to uh, his collection. Uh, we've got some others, and uh, the what we're what I'm saying right now is being uh, recorded, and it will be on YouTube, uh, uh, and it'll be at this. Uh, well, uh, here's the link, and here are all of the. Uh, guests that we've had in okay. the past weeks. Uh, so uh, we are uh, collecting more information all the time and their wisdom uh, that they transmitted is available to us uh, on YouTube. So uh, we got a lot of stuff going here. Uh, and then of mm -hmm. course we have the IA Literati uh, uh, videos from various years and uh, uh, when we first introduced the uh, Italian women's book uh, in 2012, we had a, uh, we did a video on that. I think that's about an hour. And uh, long, 2012, we did this Three Paisani Poets uh, uh, and that got uh, done. And Dan Nemiak is here. Let's see if we can uh, see if Dan in, Anyhow, uh, we're uh, uh, pleased to have with us uh, uh, both uh, Tony Morrow and... Oh, that's and Tony Morrow, the guy who put together the oral uh, histories on our, uh, uh, on our website. He's coming out and going to say about it. And the other uh, uh, 
thrust of our uh, presentation is uh, uh, the Kazakh Italian Library. We'd like you to uh, join us. Well, enough of that. <laughs> Sorry, we didn't get you. I'm I'm in there somewhere. Yeah. And uh, uh, well, here's something. Uh, Authors' Night 2011. Paul Jimo has since passed, but we have a, uh, a I think it's an hour long uh, video on him talking about a book that he wrote, appreciating Don DeLillo. Uh So. Uh, YouTube channels, Casa Library, YouTube playlists. A uh, great friend of mine, Tony Scariano, did a, did a video of him. Uh, uh, Tree Johnny uh, videotaped her. And uh, okay, this is a, a duplicate of something other. And there was 1978, there uh, a group went to Alta Vila Milica, and they were followed by the channel. A winding road runs from the sea up a steep hill to the village of Alta Vila Milica. And halfway up that road stands the Trattoria del Mare, Alta Vila's only restaurant. Yeah, so uh, that's available. It's an it's a insight into, uh, well, the uh, Tony Scariano was uh, in this thing because that's where his family came from. And Joe Camarda, uh, who's the uh, famous uh, Alta Vilan. And then we have uh, uh, this is some of the stuff that we've published. And uh, these are links to the, or where you can buy them. Um, and we even have uh, the tour of Casa Italia, uh, the audio guide that we did. Uh, that is there, um, this, uh, list of the communes of Italy uh, issues that uh, uh, we have that, uh, I think we have it in, uh, in digital format. Okay, these are all the issues that came out. It's no longer coming out, but it's, I think we've got copies of these in, in the library. So, uh, if your town was covered uh, in their uh, time, their current events uh, and volunteer opportunities. There are a couple of other things that we must have had. Uh, uh, Jason, uh, you want to add something? I know I left out a lot. Oh, there's so much I'm sure anybody would uh, be able to spend hours browsing through, especially if you start getting into the collections and the specifics, uh, reading some of the old newspaper texts, the multi-page documents, the video libraries. Go to the web page again. Yeah. Uh, our Italian names. Uh, Tony Scariano used to write... Uh, a column in Franoi and he'd take people's names and he would uh, write a little uh, paragraph on the name, uh, what it meant in Italian and uh, what its origins were. And uh, these are last names. And then we do have Franoi columnists archives. Uh, for instance, uh, Anthony Sorrentin, uh, we've got, uh, we've got uh, hundreds of pages uh, of his uh, writings, um, uh, and mostly autobiographical. And Rena Trevor, who was a food and culture com columnist for the Franoi in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, and uh, was, uh, uh, took on the question of race relations too at that time. And Maurice Marcello uh, did a series of columns in the 1960s and maybe in the 70s too, on where Italian, uh, Italian uh, Chicago uh, Italian come from. And so here he's a pioneer Genoese, they built Assumption Church. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're, we're uh, 
Go ahead. Uh, where, where are artifacts listed? Are they all mixed into the publications? Oh. Okay, uh, I forgot to mention Artifacts, that. three uh, dimensions. Well, not artifacts so much oh, as, 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 as it is it, uh, the the ongoing log of uh, archives. We are constantly working on the archives and we have this big database that uh, if, if you can see this, it has uh, uh, the box, the, the people, the box that they are in, a 1A, mm -hmm. 2B, 2B, the, the, their names and uh, something about, about who they are. Yeah. And uh, uh, so we've got a, a few three-dimensional items, but we don't have a lot of three-dimensional items uh, cataloged. Um, we oh. have them in the exhibit, and we also have uh, the art collection, which um, is not properly cataloged at this time, although we're, for, we're open to have anybody come in and do that for us, mm -hmm. if you're interested. Uh, uh, I was, I was looking, looking at Maurice Mar Marcello. Um, uh, okay. uh, Abruzzese. Uh, and then that's the uh, Umbrian Paisani in Chicago. So this was a snapshot in the 19... Uh, 60s of Paisani from East Sicily. Now Sicily gets uh, cut up. The Calabrians keep family ties. Uh, Hardy Piemontese and uh, more Piemontese in the 1980s. And so that's very, very cello. Cello. So uh, this, is, this is a source that can be used uh, He's not a great scholar. These aren't uh, lengthy, what they might be uh, seven, eight hundred words, uh, the pictures, but and uh, uh, it, it, it does tell you, though, what was in the Franoi about these areas uh, in that period. So we do, it does convey some uh, sense of information. And then, of course, uh, the, uh, the, uh, petals from Roseland. We've got all of, pretty much all of them. We got the 69 to 73 there, and it ends up with 2008 uh, for Mario Avignone. Then C.J. Martello's uh, stuff takes over. And then uh, I have an article that I wrote when I came back from my uh, uh, Fulbright on uh, talk, talk that talks about my trip to Italy and to the towns of origin of uh, Chicago Italians. So, so that's another uh, important source by a great scholar. Uh, <laughs> uh, we have a question from Maria Rosaria. Oh, um, about your. Uh, Dominic, you know, today we, um, we talked about this in school as well here in Rome. Um, we celebrate the um, International Day um, um, against the um, violence on women and uh, talking about Italian women of Chicago, where I had to, the pleasure to participate, participate in some of the translations. Translation. Would you have anything um, about the condition of women uh, Italian women, uh, customs, uh, and other in the Casa Italia library? Well, we do have the, the book, uh, the Casa Italia uh, book on Italian women in Chicago, Mamma Mia, Qui Debo Vivere. Uh, that it it is, doesn't go into a lot of extent. Oh, there is something uh, here. Oh, where is it? Now? There's a power. 
there's a PowerPoint, Dominic, uh, about Italian women, and then there's also the video link to the conference, I believe. Okay. Um, there is a, uh, a report on the Italians in Chicago that was done uh, by a municipal employee. And uh, it's about 15 or 16 pages. We, uh, it's very rare, but we, but do, we managed to uh, scan it. And I had it earlier. Didn't we have something, didn't we have something from Gloria Nardini too? Her, her thesis, wasn't that about women? Yeah. I don't know if it's on the line, uh, online, but. Uh, yeah, in 2012 Italian Women Anthology video presentation. Yeah, yeah, Gloria you know, toured Italy <laughs> uh, <laughs> talking about our Italians in Chicago, women in Chicago. Uh, I, I've held you long enough, but I hope that you have come to an appreciation of all the varied material that uh, we have put online. And uh, there is, uh, if you have suggestions for uh, putting the mix on or refining this, uh, we'd sure like to hear that uh, along with a, uh, a, an offer to implement it. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, uh, 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 Jason is very good about organizing it and working on it. And he really has, uh, we really have expanded it in the last few years. And actually uh, going through this, I was, I'm very proud of what we have here. Anyhow, uh, uh, that's I want to thank everybody and uh, let any questions or comments uh, I, it's massively better than when it started. I, you know, it's been a while, obviously, since I've been able to get down and work with you. But um, uh, you know, I remember what that web page was uh, when it started, and uh, that's why I joined on today is to see tremendous amount of improvements and uh, uh, additions to it. And uh, it's an extraordinary volume of work and. Uh, commending everybody who's put into it. Yeah, well, I, I, I uh, excuse me, I forgot to thank you for the role that you played uh, there in, in the middle. Uh, it was for maybe four or five years ago or something that uh, you came in and did some things. And that now uh, uh, we have uh, Jason who's uh, taken it a little further. So mm -hmm. like a relay race here. And Pass the baton. <laughs> And I'm impressed because it's something that I know, I know what can be done, but I can't do it myself. So I'm really, I'm really all the help we can get. Anybody else? Uh, Lucio, cosa pensi? Molto bello. Molto bello. Ancora tanto lavoro da fare comunque. Da mettere qualcos'altra. Sì. Ma molto bello. Ok, grazie. And uh, well, everyone's had a chance to, to right. say hello. And uh, well, this will be on uh, the uh, YouTube and yeah. it, you can refer back to it. And yeah. I'm going to uh, take some time to try and figure out uh, uh, something about that uh, uh, missing source that I couldn't uh, click on, I couldn't find. And I'll send an email to everyone about it. It's really very interesting. Uh, one of the things it said was the average uh, Italian woman had five pregnancies uh, mm -hmm. uh, during that period. And uh, not that they had five kids because there was so much infant mortality, but uh, that was, uh, and it was very positive too. It, uh, 
uh, saw the Italians not as a threat, but as a, uh, an asset to the community. Well, ciao, ciao, bambini. Ciao. Thank Arrivederci, you. grazie.